from our studios in the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California. This is a CUBE Conversation. Hello and welcome to the CUBE studio in Palo Alto, California for another CUBE Conversation where we go in depth with thought leaders driving innovation across the tech industry. I'm your host, Peter Burris. Every business wants cloud, every business wants digital transformation, but the challenge is what do you do with the data? How do you ensure that your data is set up so that you can take greater advantage of it, create more classes of business options in a digital world, while at the same time having the flexibility, the agility that you need from a storage and infrastructure standpoint to an not constrain the business as it tries to move forward. It's a big topic that a lot of customers are facing. To have that conversation, we're joined by Matt Kixmoller, who's the Vice President of Strategy at Pure Storage. Matt, welcome back to theCUBE. Thanks, Peter. So let's dispense with the necessaries. Update from Pure. It's a fun time at Pure. We just hit our 10th birthday, and uh, we're fresh off the heels of our Accelerate conference uh, down in Austin, where we had a lot of good product news and talked a lot about what the next decade is going to be all about. So one of the things you mentioned down in Austin was the notion of the modern data experience. I want to really highlight that notion of experience because that's kind of the intersection with the cloud experience. So talk a little bit about how the experience word in modern data and cloud is coming together. Absolutely, so you know, the cloud has forever changed IT's expectation of how tech needs to work. And I think the most archaic layer in a lot of ways right now is storage. And so we've done a lot within our platform to modernize for cloud, link to the cloud, deliver an all flash experience. But more interesting perhaps is also just reacting to the changing nature of how customers want to use storage and procure storage. And that means that they don't want to buy in advance of their needs. I think the key thing is as a service on demand, right? And you know, it's interesting when you consider both the usage and consumption as well as the purchase pattern, right? Um, if you think about the usage and consumption, it's all about on demand and automation. And perhaps one of the best examples I can give you is the transformation around containers. Um, you know, we see all of our call home data from our customers and how they use the arrays, obviously. And your typical array has just a handful of management operations per day where someone changes something, provision storage, you name it. If you look at our container environment, you know, we have a tool called PSO, a Pure Service Orchestrator, that orchestrates our storage as part of a container environment. And a PSO-based array does thousands of these operations a day. And so it's very obvious that if you're having to deal with the fluidity of, of the container cloud, there's no way you're going to have a human admin sitting there clicking yes, 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 or doing anything like that to provision storage. You have to plumb for automation from the beginning. So that's a great example of the experience necessarily must be different. You can't use a manual approach to doing things. You have to use more of an automated approach. So as you start to consider these issues, how is that informing the evolution of the modern data experience of Pure? I think it's an automated first world and you have to really prepare yourself for uh, plumbing everything for automation, for APIs, for orchestration, as opposed to thinking about processes manually. Um, we've also seen as a vendor, it's changed how people want to consume. Mm. And you know, the, the concepts of more OPEX-based on-demand consumption are also coming to storage. And so last year we introduced um, you know, one of the, the first models in industry in this regard um, that we called at the time ES2. And we broadened that and, and launched it again uh, this year at Accelerate, expanding it to the entire Pure business and called it Pure as a Service. So what we now have is we now have, at least from Pure, the option to think about how I'm going to match my storage consumption with my storage spend, which is especially important in a world where, by some estimates, storage or data is growing in volumes, from a volume perspective, at 35, 40% per annum. You don't want to have to buy four years of data out because you're growing that fast and use it today. So as you think about this, what does Pure do next with the uh, marriage of the cloud experience and the modern data experience? Well, I think a key thing, particularly around this consumption world, is to give people flexibility between on-prem and cloud. You know, we did a lot uh, in, the, in the show to announce news around how we're linking our on-prem offerings with the cloud, with our cloud block store offering to allow workloads to move back and forth. But what if I own on-prem storage and I want to use the cloud? And so another thing we did as part of Pure as a Service is allow for that subscription to go either direction. Um, you might be a customer that subscribes to 100 terabytes of Pure on-prem and then tomorrow you get the edict that says, let's move half that to the cloud. No problem, you can move 50 terabytes to the cloud and not pay us another dime. Next day you want to move back, you can do that again as well. And so we've thought about how we can really evolve um, those procurement processes such that they're just as agile and just as flexible as a cloud model. Matt Kixmuller, 
Secure Storage. Thanks again for being on theCUBE. Thank you, Peter. And thank you for joining us for another CUBE Conversation. I'm Peter Burris, see you next time.